Hey guys, Brucey Tech here, and today I have another video on a budget AMD motherboard. This is the Gigabyte A320M uh, S2H, and believe it or not, I picked this up on Amazon for $41 shipped to my door. Um, I do have Prime, but I think that's still over the limit. So you get this motherboard for $41 uh, shipped. Now I did get it from Amazon Warehouse, so you know, depending on when you look to order, that might not be the price, but I would definitely consider looking at the Amazon warehouse deals because this motherboard, um, it was marked as um, kind of like moderate condition, poor condition. It's, it's completely fine. It looks like it wasn't even opened. Someone bought it and returned it and um, did not even want to use it. But let's go over first um, the box and then we'll take a look at the board. So. Um, so this one says, you know, Ryzen 3000 ready. Um, so it probably came with a BIOS that was um, already flashed to accept the Ryzen uh, 3000 chips. I did uh, boot it up and I checked and it came with BIOS revision, I think uh, 51, which is not available on Gigabyte's uh, website. So this prob I probably should update that to the latest of 52 because it goes 50 and then 52. Um, but anyways, we have the uh, motherboard name, um, just the AMD Ryzen and Athlon logos, as long as along with the uh, smart fan and um, I guess anti sulfur design, whatever that means. Sounds like some marketing gimmick stuff. And then uh, here on the front, we got the model number again ultra durable motherboard, uh, and just the serial number and uh, barcodes. Um, again, kind of same as the front. Uh, on the back here, we just have kind of the motherboard uh, specs in a few different languages, um, DDR4 memory, Gigabyte App Center, uh, etc. And then uh, same on the side. Um, and then on the back here, kind of going over smart fan, temperature, five temperature sensors, uh, two hybrid fan headers. Woo, kind of slim there. Um, it doesn't take NVMe, so that's nice. Um, Picture of the motherboard, and then we have Realtek um, Gigabyte or Gigabit LAN, um, high quality onboard audio. I'm guessing that's probably Realtek, especially being a budget board, and then a high definition digital output. So it does have uh, VGA, uh, DVI, and HDMI. And then when it, it does have solid caps and then anti sulfur, there's kind of a picture of the um, rear IO panel and some more specs. So it did come with the IO shield and a SATA cable in the box. It didn't really come with uh, anything else. So, But honestly, all I really care about is the IO shield. I have so many SATA cables, that doesn't matter. But let's go look at the board here. So kind of here's the overall shot and then let's take a look at the back. Um, very basic design um, compared to a lot of boards. So you're gonna have your two um, PS2 mouse and keyboard if you're still using those, like if you have an old mechanical keyboard or something. Uh, your VGA, DVI, uh, HDMI, uh, two sets of USB um, 3. Point, I guess they're 3.1 ports. So you're not going to have your USB-C or USB uh, 3.2 and then two USB 2.0 ports. I still have my little mouse. Uh, keyboard dongle in there, your, your LAN, and then your audio, just your three connectors versus the six or like the um, optical out. And then going over the motherboard itself here, kind of got your eight pin connector. Um, uh, there's your uh, CPU or system fan header, excuse me. Um, kind of the audio chipset. And then we're gonna have um, your front panel audio, I think this is clear CMOS, uh, your TPMM, TPMS security um, thing. I've never uh, used one of those. It'd be interesting to kind of test it out and see how it works. Uh, two USB 2.0 headers. Uh, it says like a, sp a speaker, CMOS. Let's rotate here. Um, this also says clear CMOS. I'm not really sure what that means. Maybe you can put like a button on there or something. I don't know. And then your front panel header, USB 3.0. Um, here's going to be the A320 chipset. You have four SATA ports and then two USB or two PCI Express 1X slots and then a 16X slot for your video card. And then up here, you're going to have your um, CPU socket. I have my uh, 22G, 2200G in there. And then uh, you have two RAM slots, uh, your 24-pin uh, connector, 
And it looks like that's honestly about it. Pretty basic uh, bare bones motherboard, but, um, oh, and then an NVMe, of course. Um, you know, but if you are literally building a budget machine, you don't care about overclocking, you don't care about extra features, you just wanna throw something together cheap, either an office PC or just a budget gamer, um, I think this would be a good choice. I think it pairs well with the um, 2200G, 2400G, even the 3000 uh, chips. No, I don't think they'll support the 4000 chips. Um, we, we may see in the future, I know those are out right now, but uh, I don't think the BIOS officially supports those. Uh, you could definitely run a higher end processor on here with a video card, but I'd probably recommend going something a little better. But you know, for 40 bucks, then I paid you know 50 bucks for the processor and I bought a cheap stick of RAM on eBay. This is gonna replace my office, or not my office PC, my garage PC I have out there kind of just doing like YouTube videos and stuff. I'm working on the car or some kind of project but yeah let me know what know what you guys think down in the comments uh, let me know if you have this motherboard or use a similar uh, a320 or maybe a budget b450 motherboard and uh, make sure to give this video a big uh, thumbs up and subscribe for more content thanks bye